Everyone, I'm meteorologist Hannah Dennis, and there is a heat advisory in place for majority of the state. You can see how how much of the state is covered in orange, and that means we can see heat indexes up to 105 degrees. Now, this first heat advisory will expire tonight at 8 p.m. However, we have a second heat advisory in place that will take place starting 1 p.m. tomorrow. So we are going to be seeing this heat advisory for a couple days, and we may even see it on Monday because we are seeing some very hot temperatures. You can see Sunday and Monday we are still in those upper 90s. Heat index is pushing 110 degrees. So it is going to be a very hot rest of the weekend and beginning of the week. But thankfully you can see that the humidity drops going into Tuesday and things start to level out going in throughout the rest of the week. So we just have to endure this for a couple more days. Now as far as humidity goes, that will stick around a little bit longer. You can see that our humidity levels slowly start to go down going into Tuesday and then by Wednesday things Things start to feel a little bit more comfortable and it looks like this week or this upcoming weekend is going to be feeling more comfortable than this one. But here's a few tips to keep in mind while we are in this little heat wave. Drink plenty of water throughout the day because you can get dehydrated very fast in these temperatures and reapply sunscreen every two hours because you don't want to get that sunburn due to how hot it is and how much sun we are going to be seeing this weekend. And always check the back seat of your car. You don't want to leave pets or anyone just in the back seat of your your car because it becomes like an oven in these temperatures and it only takes a matter of minutes for it to get to some dangerous temperature levels. Now we have a chance to see some storms, but it's going to be very isolated. You can see going from tonight into Sunday. This is looking at Sunday at 2 a.m. You can see that there's some pop up storms, but they are mainly staying north and east and we'll see that go through. Then Sunday and Monday are staying mainly clear, but there is a potential that we could be seeing some uh, storms pop up in the afternoon hours, depending on the uh, atmospheric uh, levels that we are looking at, because there is a little bit of a cap in place. And if we hit a certain temperature, it could break the cap and then things start changing. But the next round of rain will probably come in later in the week. Tuesday at 1 a.m. There's a potential to get some scattered showers way off in eastern Iowa, but for the most part, we're going to be in a drier stretch. But for any storms that do pop up, there is a potential that they could turn strong to severe, and that has been the case throughout this entire summer so far. We are looking at a level one and level two in northern and eastern Iowa for tonight. Tomorrow, level one for about half of the state for any of those storms that do break the cap and start um, popping up. Monday is a little bit up in the air right now. You can see that a lot of us are in there under that level one risk, level two risk in that north uh, eastern corner. But Monday is something that we're watching because there is a very big potential that we could see this cap break and then storms pop up all over the state. So it is something that we are monitoring very closely. Now, as far as river levels, I have some good news. We are going to see the river up in Humboldt get out of flood stage this Tuesday and Sailorville is also on the decline. You can see that it crested at 880 feet and it's going to start going down. Now, Fort Dodge and Stratford are actually going to be out of the flood stages completely tomorrow. So that is also some really good news. We are seeing a lot of improvement and that that is something we want to be seeing because we have seen a lot of problems with that flooding, uh, especially up in northern Iowa. Now tonight, unfortunately, it's going to be a warm night. You see, we're only going to get down to 76 degrees, which is also another problem because this shows that we don't get a chance to really cool off in those overnight hours. So even at night, you have to remember to drink a lot of water because with that humidity, it's just not going to feel good outside. And then, of course, we have those storms possible in northeastern Iowa. And then tomorrow, it's looking like it's going to be the hottest day this weekend. We're looking at a temperature of 97 degrees, that heat index pushing 110 degrees. So tomorrow is going to be a pretty hot day. And I know there's a lot of events going on, but just remember to drink lots of water. Monday is also going to be that hot day again, but then you can see Tuesday, we finally get the 80s back and we get to keep the 80s for a while. You can see that next weekend looks like it's going to feel a lot more comfortable than this weekend, but we are going to see some more showers and storms start to become possible again as we get into the following week.